GigWorks' promise of flexibility drew Kimberly Wolf in. I could pay my bills, my rent, have a little ex extra left over to save and to do other stuff for my education. But she says pay didn't really rise with the cost of living. Add in a car breakdown and higher gas expenses. Basically that tipped me over the edge into homelessness. And it, it's, it's taken me a while to get out of that and past that. The city of Seattle could make companies cover some of those costs by requiring minimum pay based on factors including time and mileage. So that if you're working, you make at least minimum wage after the cost of your job. Working Washington says about 40,000 people do some type of gig work in Seattle, a number that equates to about half of Amazon's local workforce here. So it's big. But that data is hard to confirm because the Bureau of Labor Statistics doesn't yet separate out these online gig workers from all forms of contingent work. DoorDash, for one, says it, quote, looks forward to continuing discussions with decision makers. In Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.